guys. I wanted to read my kindergartners and first graders a book today. I'm actually going to try to have a book for you every day of spring break. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try and do that for you. But this is one of me and McKinsey's favorite stories to read together, okay? I didn't save the best for last. I did my favorite one first, okay? So the title of my story is Giraffes Can't Dance. And this story was written by Giles Andre, okay? Gerard was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerard felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chips all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerard swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerard, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerard, you're so weird. Gerard simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, <coughs> coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerard earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerard felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hoofs had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerard felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerard cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerard boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerard's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerard, tell us how. But Gerard simply trolled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said when we find music that we love. The end.